Scrimmage. Welcome to PBS 39 Scholastic Scrimmage. Scholastic Scrimmage is brought to you by the members of PBS 39 and by Scholastic Scrimmage is sponsored by St. Luke's University Health Network, the region's leading provider of medical education. For more than 100 years, St. Luke's has been dedicated to educating physicians, nurses, and healthcare professionals. To learn more, call St. Luke's InfoLink, toll free at 866-ST-LUKES, or visit sluhn.org. Support for PBS 39's educational programming is provided by the Deluxe Corporation Foundation. Proud to support quality programming on PBS 39. And now your host, Dr. Karen Walton, Provost to Sales University. Welcome to Scholastic Scrimmage. This is the second contest of the 2016-2017 academic year. It's also the 43rd year that PBS 39 has brought you this academic competition. I'm Karen Walton and I'm delighted to be your host. From now until May, the best and brightest students from 30 schools will compete for the honor of being the Scholastic Scrimmage champions. At the end of the season, the two final teams will win scholarships for their schools from the Air Products Foundation. Let's meet the team from Notre Dame High School. I'm Chris Fichetti and I'm a senior. I'm Braden Farrell and I'm a sophomore. I'm Fiona Bennett, I'm a senior. I'm Cameron Sowers, I'm a senior. Notre Dame's coach is Dina Farrell. And now the team from Southern Lehigh High School. I'm Dan Chen, I'm a senior. I'm Amir Gold, I'm a senior. I'm Jacob Zerman, I'm a senior. I'm Victor Ong, and I'm a senior. Southern Lehigh's coach is Jen Valetic. The judges for today's contest are Sally Campbell, retired English teacher, and Dr. Gary DeLeo, professor of physics at Lehigh University. Remember that the questions on scholastic scrimmage demand rapid recall of factual information and are not necessarily indicative of academic training. We understand the rules, so let's begin the contest with a toss-up in British literature. What Shakespearean tragedy about the Mont Montesquieu's and Capulets? Southern Lehigh? Oh, excuse me, it was Notre Dame? Romeo and Juliet. Is correct, and your bonus. What musical? set in New York City tells the same story about two feuding street gangs. Fiona? West Side Story. Correct. Next toss up is in algebra, paper and pencil. A new car depreciates by 20% of its value each year. If a car is purchased for $30,000, what is its value after two years? Southern Lehigh? $19,200. Is correct, and your bonus. If you invest $20,000 and it appreciates at 12% per year, compounded monthly, what is its value after one month? Amir? It's $20,200. Very quick, good for you. Toss up in U.S. history. Which amendment to the U.S. Constitution was adopted as a result of the U.S. Supreme Court case, Chisholm versus Georgia? This amendment? makes it possible for a citizen of one state to sue another state in federal court. It is the 11th Amendment. Next toss up is in language arts. Verbals are of three types. The participle is one type. Name the other two. Notre Dame. Past and present. Over to Southern Lehigh. Uh, 
Amir. Perfect. And oh no. Um, and no, no. Gerunds and infinitives. Oh. You had to have both. Toss up. Physics, multiple choice. A charged particle with finite mass is located at the origin of the xy plane. Which of the following quantities associated with the particle varies inversely with the distance to the origin? A, gravitational field. B, electric potential. C, electric field. Or D, velocity. Southern Lehigh? Electric potential. Is correct. And your bonus. The gravitational force attracting two objects is 100 newtons. If the mass of each object is doubled and the distance between the objects is quadrupled, what is the new gravitational force? Amir? 25 newtons. Yes. Toss up in world history. Which world leader spoke these famous words? I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears, and sweat. Notre Dame? Winston Churchill. Yes. Your bonus, Notre Dame. Name the prime minister, the British prime minister, who immediately preceded Winston Churchill. Fiona? Neville Chamberlain. Correct. Toss up in mathematics. Simplify the quotient on the monitor and express your answer as a rational number. Uh, Southern Lehigh? Uh, two, sorry, uh, two, three times, three over two times the square root of six. Over to Notre Dame. You must answer immediately after you buzz in. Notre Dame? Three over two. Three over two is correct. And your bonus, Notre Dame. Give a counterexample to show that the equation on the monitor is not true for all real number values of x. Time is up. If you put a negative number in there for x, you see that that will not be true because x squared will then be positive. Radical of it will not equal the negative number. So any counterexample of that sort would be true. Next toss-up is in world literature. Name the legendary king of Mycenae, who was husband to Clytemnestra and father of Iphigenia and Electra. He led the Greek forces in Homer's Iliad. Notre Dame. Odysseus. Southern Lehigh. Amir. King Midas. Agamemnon. Next toss up is in US geography. The largest earthquake in American history occurred along the Denali Fault Line in Prince William Sound in what state? Southern Lehigh. Alaska. It is the Denali, I think, that gave you the answer. And your bonus for five points each. The San Andreas Fault lies along almost the entire coast of which ocean? Amir. Pacific. Yes, second. Another fault lies between the central part of the United States, under parts of Arkansas, Illinois, Kentucky, Missouri, and Tennessee. Name that fault line. Amir. Appalachian fault. It is the new Madrid fault line. Next toss up is in chemistry, multiple choice. Which of the three macronutrients are the main energy source of the body? Notre Dame. Carbohydrates. You did not need the choices. And your bonus, multiple choice. Of the three three macronutrients. 
which of the carbon-containing compounds only contain the element nitrogen? Is it proteins, fats and oils, or carbohydrates? Fiona? Proteins. It is proteins. Next toss-up is in algebra. What is the added identity, additive identity, in the complex number system? Southern Lehigh? Zero. That is correct, or zero plus zero I is correct. And your bonus, what is the additive inverse of the complex number two minus three I? Amir? Plus three I. It is negative two plus three I because you have to add the two together to get zero. So two minus three I and plus negative two plus three I, you have to get zero, okay? So you did not get that part of the bonus. Toss up, American literature. Name the American author who penned the following lines about his young wife. It was many and many a year ago. Southern Lehigh? Edgar Allan Poe. Is correct. I like that poem, but you didn't let me read part of it. Multiple Annabelle choice. Lee. Dashiell Hammett breathed new life into the crime story genre in the 1920s with cool, hard as nails, detectives. From the following choices, who is the hero of the Maltese Falcon, as well as several short stories? Was it Sam Spade, Miles Dane, James Bond, or Rex Stout? Amir. Miles Dane. Sam Spade. Toss up in world history. The building of this European barbed wire and concrete structure began on the night of August 13th, 1960. Southern Lehigh. What is the Iron Curtain? Oh, well. Jacob. What is the Iron Curtain? I will continue for Notre Dame. The building of this European barbed wire and concrete structure began on the night of August 13, 1961. Name this anti-fascist bulwark. Notre Dame? The Berlin Wall. Correct. Bonus? Multiple choice. Which of the following countries was not part of the Warsaw Pact? Poland? Greece? Or Bulgaria. Fiona? Greece. Correct. Tosman physics. What term describes the ejection of electrons from a metal surface when light falls upon it? Southern Lehigh? The photoelectric effect. Bonus? For five points each, name the two types of images formed by mirrors or lenses. Amir? Real and virtual. Correct. It's halftime. Wonderful contest, very close. The halftime score is Notre Dame 70, Southern Lehigh 85. In the first round, we asked the students to tell us if they have a mentor or a idol. So let's begin with Notre Dame. Christopher? My role models are my mother and my father, who also participated in Scholastic Scrimmage back in 1983. Both of them? Only my father. Uh, congratulations to your father and uh, wonderful role models. Uh, Braden? My role models are my parents. Thank you. Fiona? My, mo my role models are Cam's parents. Cameron? Uh, my, role model my role models are Fiona's parents. Okay. Let's go to Southern Lehigh, Dan. Uh, my role model is Ken Bone. My role model is Barack Obama. My role model is David Doherty. My role model is Jeremy Deaton. All right. Unusual role models. <laughs> Let's continue with a toss-up in art. The painting on the monitor is a very popular 19th century art style. Name the style. Notre Dame. Impressionism. 
correct, and your bonus. The painting is of an Impressionist painter by another Impressionist painter. Both subject and artist have names beginning with the letter M, who is the artist who created this painting and who is the friend pictured in the painting. Five points for each correct answer. Painter is Monet with an A. The subject is Monet with an O. Toss up in biology. In the upper front of the human body, seven pairs of ribs are connected to what bone? Southern Lehigh? The sternum. For the breastbone is correct, and your bonus. By what two words do people in sports medicine refer to an inflammation of the structures in and around the lateral epicondi epicondyle? The Amir? Is there a costal chondritis? It is, I will continue, the bony knob on the outer side of the elbow. It is tennis elbow. Oh. The next toss up is in U.S. geography. This wealthy city is home to the California, California Institute of Technology and the Southern Lehigh. Pasadena. Yes. Do you want to go there? <laughs> it is uh, one of the best in the country. Nevada shares its borders with five other states. California is one of the five for five points each. Name two of the other four states that border Nevada. Amir? New Mexico and Colorado. They are Oregon, Idaho, Utah, Arizona. <laughs> wow. I was like Arizona. <laughs> Toss up in language arts. Many businesses and homeowners still have fax machines. Fax is short for Amir. Whoops. Uh, facsimile? Is the correct answer for five points each. First, spell facsimile. No correcting yourself once you begin. Amir? Uh, F-A-C-S-I-M-I-L-E. Correct. Next. Facsimile comes from the Latin roots facare and simile. What is the literal meaning of facsimile based on these root words? Amir? Uh, the same copy. <laughs> it is to make something similar equal. Facare is like factory, the derivation. So you did not get that, to make something similar. Toss up in world history. What Greek philosopher categorized some expressions including space and time? Fiona? Plato. Over to Southern Lehigh. Let me see, Victor. Aristotle. Correct, and your bonus. We usually think of him when we hear things like will to power or ubermensch. Name him. Amir. Nietzsche. Nietzsche is correct. I was going to say Hitler. Toss up. <laughs> it's German, so you pronounce the E on the end. Uh, toss up in current events. New York City is home to more than 200 bridges and tunnels. What bridge has been the start of the New York City Marathon since 1976 and connects Staten Island and Brooklyn? Notre Dame. The Brooklyn Bridge. Over to Southern Lehigh. The Verrazano Narrows Bridge. 
Next toss up is in geometry. Paper and pencil. The lengths of two sides of a triangle are seven and 10. Between what two integers does the length of the third side lie? Notre Dame. Between three and 17. Correct. And your bonus, paper and pencil. A solid in the form of a right circular cylinder has a radius of two centimeters and a height of three centimeters. For five points each, first, find the volume of the solid in cubic centimeters. It's 12 pi cubic centimeters. And the second part, find the maximum straight line distance in centimeters between any two points in the solid. Five centimeters. Toss up in music. Name the group that is performing this song. Can me Did someone? Okay, Fiona. The Beatles. Absolutely. And your bonus. Which yeah. member of the Beatles wrote and performed the song Imagine later in life as part of a solo career? Can I... Fiona. John Lennon. Yes. Two yeah. great songs. Toss up in British literature. What Irish Nobel Prize winner completed a translation of Beowulf in 1999? Seamus Heaney. The next toss up is in U.S. Geography. The North Platte River begins at Grizzly Creek in Colorado, then flows north before heading east and south. Name the state north of Colorado through which the North Platte River flows. Notre Dame. Idaho. Over to Southern Lehigh. Wyoming. Wyoming is correct, Amir. And your bonus, the South Platte River also begins in Colorado, then flows eastward until it meets the North Platte River to form the Platte River. In what state do the rivers merge? Amir? Kentucky. Nebraska. Toss up in U.S. history, multiple choice. July is the month most closely associated with American independence. Which two of the following events did not happen in July? Battle of Lexington, formal approval of the Declaration of Independence, the surrender of Yorktown. Southern Lehigh. Uh, the Battle of Lexington and the surrender of Yorktown. Correct. Bonus for five points each. Complete these statements about important May dates in American history by providing the year in which the events took place. First, Admiral Dewey won the Battle of Manila Bay on May 1st. Philippines. Amir? 1944. 1898-2nd. No penalty for trying on a bonus. Good for you. The first permanent English settlement in America was established at Jamestown, Virginia on May 14th. Amir? 1638. 1607. You had the right century. Good for you. Toss up. Geometry. Paper and pencil. What is the area 
of the triangle whose sides are 8, 15, and 17 centimeters long. Southern Lehigh? 120 centimeters squared. Over to Notre Dame? Notre Dame? 60 centimeters squared. Is correct. It is a right triangle. Bonus is this. An ant, right, make yourself a picture, crawls outside a square of side one centimeter at all times remaining exactly one centimeter from the boundary of the square. To the next nearest square centimeter, what is the area bounded by one complete circuit? of the ant. Fiona? One cubic centimeter? It is eight square centimeters. It's exactly five plus pi. I asked for the nearest square centimeter. Difficult in that time period. Toss up in chemistry. When electrons are added to orbitals of equal energy, they will fill, they will half fill every orbital with the spins remaining parallel before pairing in any orbital. This principle is known by what name? Southern Lehigh. It's Pauli exclusion. Over to Notre Dame. It's Hun's rule of maximum multiplicity. Toss up in algebra. If x equals two is a root of the equation x squared plus ax minus six equals zero, what is the value of a? Southern Lehigh? Five. Over to Notre Dame. Notre Dame? One. Is correct. And your bonus. Paper and pencil. In the xy plane, what is the x-intercept of the graph of y is equal to negative 2x plus 4? Positive two? It is positive two. The final score is Southern Lehigh, 135, Notre Dame, 115. Our thanks to Notre Dame for being with us. Southern Lehigh, we'll see you later in the season for a second round. Thank you for watching and supporting these excellent students. Please join us next week for another contest on Scholastic Scrimmage. Scholastic Scrimmage is brought to you by the members of PBS 39 and by... Scholastic Scrimmage is sponsored by St. Luke's University Health Network, the region's leading provider of medical education. For more than 100 years, St. Luke's has been dedicated to educating physicians, nurses, and healthcare professionals. To learn more, call St. Luke's Info Link, toll free at 866-ST-LUKES, or visit sluhn.org. Support for PBS 39's educational programming is provided by the Deluxe Corporation Foundation. Proud to support quality programming on PBS 39.